Hey, this is 0.1 step two video. This one will go a little bit faster. You have more reading to do and less listening to me in this particular step of lesson 0 0.1. Um, we're still working on this learning objective. Students will be able to define what a modern classroom is and explain how English class will operate this year. And what I want you to do in this one, um, for this lesson, this is the question you've got in the back of your mind. What will we be doing in Ivy English HL year two? Um, so I've got the course syllabus in the packet. And what I want you to do is to read it and take some notes on it as you read it. You're going to mark the text. When we mark the text, we always number the sections, right? This is an AVID strategy you probably know of. Um, there are five sections in this course syllabus, so just number those sections off. One, two, three, four, five. I'll show you uh, exactly what each section is in one sec. And then read the text, marking essential information as you read. Some of the information is going to be brand new. Some of it is going to sound familiar based on 0 0.1 video 1. So circle key terms and phrases that you see as being important. Maybe I've already bold-faced them, or you can just tell by the way that they're being used that they're important phrases and that you're probably um, going to need to know what these phrases are. And then underline the information that explains these key terms and phrases or has some other specific details that seem important to you. Okay, so we're going to number, circle, and underline. Um, so take a look, if you would, at um, the page that has the course syllabus for you. It, you're going to notice that it has an introduction there that um, looks something like this. Now, every time you see this large font, that means it's a section, okay? So the intro is one section. So you can go ahead and write one for that section. That is the first section of the course syllabus. And as I said, there are five sections. Um, I think two is quite long. Some of the others are shorter. So just go ahead and take a moment now and number all of the sections. Okay, did you number the sections? Fabulous. The next step is to circle key phrases. So um, let's just take a look at this first one as an example, and then I'll let you do the other four on your own. Welcome to IB English HL2, and congratulations. You have chosen the most rigorous courses the Cooper English Department has to offer, and you are almost done with them. I already know because of your enrollment to this class that you're up for a challenge and that you aren't shy of hard work. I also know that you will continue to develop a larger reason for pushing yourself academically. Is there a larger reason for studying literary art at a rigorous level than college acceptance and credit? I hope so. I will offer some ideas in the next lesson, but let me just tell you right now that I think a lot about why I am here and my fundamental reason is I want to be the change I wish to see in the world. And I believe that art, including literary art, can change the world. I hope you will spend some time thinking of your own reasons for being here because some days it will be hard to remember. Knowing and holding on to why you are here each day will help. Now that I've told you why I am here, let me tell you what the main purpose of this course is to prepare you for the IB assessments. Everything we do in this class will directly connect to the end goal, a high score on the IB assessment. Everyone in IB English HL tests with IB, and my job is to help you get the highest mark possible on those tests. Okay, so if we're going to circle stuff. Um, you maybe notice that I have this in italics and I uh, repeat it, right? I say a larger reason and larger reason there. So maybe that is an, a key term. Um, what else do you think is a key term for this? I mean, maybe just IBHL2. I mean, we know that's what we're in, right? Um, maybe literary art. Uh, I say that a couple of times. Uh, that sounds maybe a little bit different than English class. So that might be a key term that we need to know. Um, if you are needing to take the first round of activity. 
And maybe a last um, item to circle would be IB assessments. I don't know. So uh, it's up to you. You get to decide what you want to um, circle and what you want to underline. Um, but let's see, if we were underlining large reason for pushing yourself academically, large reason for studying literary art at a rigorous level, um, pushing yourself academically maybe is the larger reason or it's connected at least. Um, and maybe you will want to underline what my reason is. Um, and maybe this is important what uh, this is important that everyone in IBHL tests, right? And that that is our goal in um, English. What do you think? You like those? Um, it's up to you what you underline and what you circle, but it, you know, I just want you to read the text carefully, marking it to help you make sure that you're really getting as much out of it as possible. So read the course intro. It is several pages, and then um, you can move on to the 0 0.1 step three, which is a should do, a reflection. Thanks. Enjoy reading the course syllabus. Let me know if you have any questions too.